All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to Wildcard Sports. In this video, we are going to go over week five picks. It's just getting better and better for us. I am now 42 and 22. Uh, last week's video, I was ranked 90th thousandth in that area. Now I'm 65,000. So I'm climbing the ranks. It's getting better and better. 93.7% picks. And uh, let's just do it again this week. And I want to hear your guys' takes in the comments. I want to hear your guys' picks. I want to know what you agree with me or disagree with me on. So let's just get right into it. Chicago Bears versus Commanders this Thursday night football. Bears looking better. Fields looking better. But will that continue against the Commanders? Commanders have a pretty good defense. So I don't think the Bears are going to win this one. I'm going to take the Commanders. And Commanders put up a really good fight against the Eagles. They almost won it. They took them to overtime, but they lost. But I'm going to take Commanders here uh, to beat the Bears. I don't think Fields is still going to continue his hot streak, at least passing-wise. Uh, moving on to the Jaguars and the Bills. This one's being played in London, in Tottenham. Uh, you know, a home game for the Jaguars. Technically, it's for the Bills, but Jaguars are beloved over there in England. So it, it's hard for me to take the Jags to win. Maybe take the spread on the Jags. It's like plus five and a half. Yeah, plus five and a half for the Jags. But I got to go Buffalo Bills on this one. Don't see them losing. You know, they got to travel, but it shouldn't be that tough on them. Texans, Falcons. Texans looking really good as of late. Uh, Falcons just not looking good at all. Um, you know, I would take earlier in the season, I probably would take the Falcons in a home spot here, but I'm liking what the Texans are doing. Um, looking at the spread of this game, Falcons are favored here, but I'm going to take the upset here and take the Texans on the road. I like what they're doing. CJ Stroud looking really good. So we'll go Texans on that one. Lions, Panthers, 0-4 Panthers. I mean, they have Bryce Young, but maybe they're going to go for Caleb Williams here. I got to go Lions. Don't think Panthers are going to win this one on the road. Uh, great spot for the Lions there. Lions are favored by over 10 points. So got to go Lions on that one. Titans, Colts. This is going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a good game to watch. Colts had that, uh, you know, great comeback on the Rams last week, and they almost won, but uh, I – I do like the Colts here. Titans, you know, killing the um, Bengals. But are the Bengals just bad? I don't know. So we're, I'm going to go Colts here on this one. Um, I believe, let's see, Colts are underdogs. So Tennessee is favored by two. So we'll take the upset there with the Colts. This one's just too easy. Giants, Dolphins. I mean, the Giants are so bad this year. It's, it's crazy how bad they look. Got to go Dolphins to bounce back. And get the W here. Saints Patriots, another game that's going to be kind of like ugh, bad to watch, but I do think Patriots will bounce back after that uh, shellacking from the Cowboys' worst loss in Belichick's history, I believe, as the Patriots coach. So I got to go Patriots to bounce back here. Um, probably will be a close one. I'll pick the Patriots. Patriots are favored by only one point, so it's almost a pick 'em game here. But I just got to go Patriots here at home. Um, we got a division game coming up. Solid game. Ravens, Steelers, every time they play, it's always pretty good. Um, earlier on in the season, I would probably lean Steelers, but I got to go Ravens here. Um, just, Steelers are just not playing good. Pickett does not look good at all. Um, so let's see. What's the line? So, yeah, Ravens favored by four. Maybe take the Steelers spread plus four, but um, I would take Ravens. Uh, Eagles Rams. I'm a 49er fan, so I definitely want the Rams to lose. I mean, I wouldn't really mind if Eagles lose too, because because Eagles are four and zero. My Niners are four and zero, so that would help. Uh, you know, stand for my Niners stay undefeated, and we get the last undefeated team out of there. Uh, but um, you know, I do want to see the Rams lose just because it's, it's uh, they're in our division. So I do think Eagles can definitely beat the Rams for sure. Rams are looking good. Don't get me wrong, but I got to go Eagles here. Um, Eagles are, where's the line here? Eagles are favored by four. So um, maybe take the uh, the Rams spread plus four. Maybe it could come down to a field goal. Because uh, I do think Rams will make it competitive, but I got to go Eagles on this one. Uh, moving on to the Cardinals and the Bengals. I mean, what do we think of the Bengals? At this point, when you look at the teams, Cardinals are a better team. Sure, they do have the same record at one and three, 
but Cardinals look like the better team. They're beating, they beat the Cowboys, you know, uh, Cowboys are a solid team, but maybe the Cowboys were just not expecting, uh, Cardinals to do so well. Will they beat the Bengals? Cardinals do play well at home. I know they're only one in three, but, um, looking at the line, uh, Cardinals are underdogs. So yeah, Bengals minus three, maybe take a Cardinals spread at plus three. Hopefully you can get at plus three and a half. Um, you know, I really want to pick the Bengals, but uh, they just haven't proved anything to me lately. And sure, the Bengals should bounce back. That's what we keep saying every week. But uh, I'm just going to take the Cardinals here right now. Take the upset. 65% of America is uh, taking the Bengals or are taking the Bengals. But it's just, will they bounce back? They need to bounce back. Joe Burrow knows they need to bounce back. Everyone knows Bengals have to get better and bounce back. But I think Cardinals will play spoilers once again. So we're going to go Cardinals on this one. Or at least they're going to keep it really close. Um, Jets, Broncos. I mean, two really bad teams. Jets did play very well against the Chiefs, though, the other day. So you got to go Jets here because the Broncos just look so bad. Um, Broncos are only favored by one and a half points. And I'm actually surprised that the Broncos are favored. So I'm going to take the upset here and go Jets. Maybe this was a turning point for Zach Wilson after last game. So I do think he's going to play better here and uh, keep it going. They are going to be playing high elevation there. They're, sorry, they are going to be playing high elevation in Denver. So that's uh, something to consider for the Jets. But I do think Jets will win this one and take the W on the road. Um, Chiefs, Vikings. This is another one that, you know, it's pretty easy for me. You've got to go Chiefs. Don't see the Vikings winning it. One in three Vikings. So I got to go Chiefs on that one. This is the matchup of the week here, guys. Maybe the matchup of the year could be Cowboys and Niners. Niners 4-0, Dallas 3-1. I mean, we've faced each other so many times in the playoffs, regular season. This is just going to be a battle throughout. It's primetime television. I'm a 49er fan. I can't go against my Niners. And obviously, I do think the Niners could win this one regardless. So I'm going Niners for sure. But I do think the Niners are a better team overall. It's going to be a battle. It's not going to be easy for the Niners, that's for sure. So it will be a battle. The defenses, we'll see what Brock Purdy can do. It should be very interesting. Right now, the spread for the 49ers, Bronc, uh, sorry, right now for the 49ers, Cowboys, Niners minus three and a half. So it's staying around minus three and a half, minus four, I've seen minus three. So I do think Niners will probably cover the spread. Um, so I would take Niners spread, but um, I got to go Niners here. Like I said before, though, game of the year, Definitely game of the week. Um, Packers, Raiders, Monday Night Football. That could be a fun one to watch. Um, but this is a tough one. I do like the Raiders at home. There are going to be a lot of Green Bay Packer fans there for sure, be that being in Vegas. Um, right now, the spread is pretty much a pick em. They got the Packers at minus one, so it's a pick em game. Um, I like the Raiders on this primetime spot, though. So I'm going to pick Raiders here, even though 75% of America is picking the Packers. So I'm going to go, go Raiders on this one. Um, I'll, they have the total right now at 45. Uh, I think it could be a little higher scoring than that. We'll go 52 on that one. Um, so, yeah, those are my picks, guys. I'm going to scroll here so you guys can see who I've uh, selected. Um, those are my picks for week five. I want to hear your guys' picks for week five. Let me know what you agree with, what you would disagree with. Um, let's keep this streak going. I'm ranked 65,000 right now. It's getting like I've jumped up like 30,000 spots almost every week. Actually, a couple weeks before, it was a couple hundred thousand spots. So we're getting better and better. Um, our goal is to get under 50,000. That rank, obviously, you know, we got to keep climbing those uh, rankings. But we're doing it together. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. We're doing this every week throughout the season. So you guys uh, subscribe if you want. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Enjoy your week. Enjoy week five. Peace out.